Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back. Now on my last video where I did my Linux setup, you guys were suggesting to take a look at KDE and that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. Now I'm no stranger to KDE. I've actually used them for a very long time. As a matter of fact, one of my first Linux distros that I was playing with, which is Canops, used KDE. So that was like version one something. The last time I did play around with KDE was like, I think a year ago maybe. And I was heavily using the KDE Connect app. Now I think that KDE is actually very, very innovative where they come out with these crazy applications and they do these weird crazy things with their desktops and sometimes they take it over to the top like there was this whole phase with them where they, everything was just transparent and i really didn't like it at that time so i kind of switched off to a more lightweight desktop and then now i switched back to gnome and now i'm checking out kde again now the operating system we're going to be using today is manjaro which is based on arch linux now if you're not familiar with arch linux it's different from ubuntu it's still linux but it's just different it's more bleeding edge you could say they have apps as soon as apps come out like that day somebody would have compiled it for their package manager and that's the biggest difference i find between running arch or ubuntu they do use different repository systems now in arch linux you get pacman which is package manager which i really do like and especially if you combo that with manjaro they have their own software center which is great and then ubuntu have their app too which is app get and app which I'm more familiar with. Now in Arch Linux, I've used this before, but I'm more familiar with Ubuntu. So uh, I do rely on the software center a lot in Arch Linux or Manjaro. Now, if you are new and you want to get into Arch Linux, I would suggest using Manjaro because they're software manager. But if you are planning to really learn how to use Linux, I would highly recommend just trying to install Arch from scratch. You'll learn about Grub, partitioning files is a lot of stuff so it's it's really great now let's get into it I'm, I'm, I'm checking this out and this is a default desktop I have not changed anything the only thing I added was OBS and my graphic drivers so I gotta say KDE looks really really good the last time I've used it was uh, I think 5.10 or maybe even before that and since 5.13 they added this blurry effect that makes this desktop look so good and so clean I, I really really like the look of it uh, that's what we're really going to be configuring today. So the first thing I would like to do, because I'm on a laptop, I'm actually going to go to system settings and pop right over to my input devices and go to touchpad. And I don't know why this doesn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But this time, tap to click is not working. Most of the time, I could just um, enable that. But I bet you a reboot could fix that. I'm not, I'm not too stressed about it. Uh, but I am going to go check out global themes. First thing I do want to do is actually swap out the theme. And I did find something that was pretty interesting. I'm just going to wait for this to load. And I started looking at this theme, Q-O-G-I-R. Now I'm going to use the dark theme. Their dark theme looks really good. So all you have to do is just click install and it's going to load it into the theme area, the global theme area where I could change. While I'm waiting for this to install, it's going to reload later on. I'm also going to go over to um, the icons and get new icons. And from here, I'm actually going to go look for Q-O-G-I-R. Whoops. Q-O-G-I-R. And they have the two icon themes itself. It also installed it already. Okay, cool. Sometimes it might not install that, so I'm just grabbing it ahead of time. And those are the two styles that I'm actually going to go for. So I'm just going to switch right over to this theme, apply, and you're going to see everything switch over to darkness. Oh, it looks so good. Now the theme, the background doesn't really match up with this. So the first thing I'm actually going to change on this, I actually download this. Okay, I cheated a little. I downloaded this um, earlier, which is this neon wallpaper, also from Wallpaper Flare. And it matches up really well with this type of theme with the little two mountain icons for that. Now the blurry effect is not as strong in this. So let's kind of play around with what's, let's see what we could do. So I'm going to go to edit current profile, go to appearance and go to edit. And here in the transparency, I'm kind of going to, I'm going to give it like 70% transparency. Is that, ooh, no opposite way okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna hit okay on that swap over to system settings oh I got to change the icon themes 
Mm, okay, that looks pretty good. It already did it for me. I'm gonna switch over to Win Workspace Behavior, go over to Desktop Effects, and look for Blur. And here is where you could like kind of play around with what you want. So if I change it to Strong, is it, is it doing it? Is it doing it? Sorta, I think. What if I change it to Light? Mm, it's not really doing it. It's only giving me a transparency effect. Usually it would have gave me blur. Am I supposed to do something here? I'm gonna switch back over to profiles. Nope, wrong one. Settings, edit current profile, appearance, miscellaneous. Nope, it's here. Edit, blur background, there you go. Hit okay, hit okay. Oh, that's a little bit too much blur. Let's swap that to that looking pretty good i really like the blur effect <laughs> like i could spend hours just configuring everything for the blur okay i don't like the noise i mean i i want that a little bit stronger less blur and you kind of could still see look at that it looks so good sudo pack man is it sy i think it's sy it's sy neo fetch let's install that neo fetch let's do that again look at that that calls for a good screenshot there's not much to configure i like that the bar uh, the bar is on the bottom already so i'm just going to leave it as is let's check out firefox okay firefox needs to change because you see how this is all gray. So let's go to google.com. And I think that was QLGIRP Firefox theme. And look for QOGIR and dark for Firefox. There you go. Install theme. Add. Okay, got it. Nice. Now everything looks good. Look, it matches up. If I restart it, does it fix my scroll bars too? Let's see. It's right here. Hmm, doesn't change my scroll bars to a dark version. I guess it's okay. Firefox dark mode. This is very interesting. This dark mode actually changes every web page into a dark web page. So you flip that, you see that? It flips everything into dark mode. Oh, this didn't work. But yeah, it, it's a pretty cool website. If I go to Google, dark. So it matches up with everything. <laughs> I mean, I really like it. I like the blurry effect that's happening. I like how everything is blurry. So guys, that's it. I mean, I just configured a little bit of theming. I added the theme to a Firefox, made everything blend. I, I added the more of the blurry effect into my terminal. Um, I really love the look of it. I might be keeping this for quite some time just to see what, how far I could take it. But if you guys enjoyed this, uh, please download it, check it out. It's Manjaro KDE. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, hit it up in the comments below. If you guys want me to check out another desktop environment, also hit in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.